Hello everybody and welcome back to another short bit segment of my apps. In today's video I'll be covering how to create vibrations from your iAndroid app, first with just a constant vibration, and then with patterns that we can specify for an indefinite amount of time. In order to do this, we're going to head on over to our Android manifest.xml because that's where we're going to have to state that we're going to be using vibrations. So now we, we can state that we need the vibration permission by saying uses permission and it says Android name. Let me zoom in a bit. And then we're going to say Android name and um, Android, Android dot permission dot library. And then I'm going to come outside the quotes and close the tag and it auto completes it for us. So now we're ready to use the vibrator class in Java. So we're going to head back over to our main activity.java file, which is on the left side over here, but I have mine open, so I'm going to go there. And uh, I'm going to write my code in the onCreate method over here. Then That way the vibrations start when the app is launched. But if you want to make it so that it starts when the button is pressed, like over here I have a button dot, um, is on click listener, that is also fine. Now we're going to start with something basic where the vibrations last for a couple of milliseconds. So in order to do that, we're going to go outside our onCreate method over here. And we're going to type vibrator, and we're going to call the variable v, i, b. Okay, and then we're going to put the semicolons. And inside our onCreate method, we're going to initialize it by saying vib equals, and in parentheses, vibrator, get system service context dot vibrator service. So we're basically specifying that we're going to be using the vibrator, and the type of system service is the vibrator, and that's what we're casting it to basically with the vibrator in the parentheses. And then to start the actual vibration, what we're going to do is come underneath, and we're going to say vib dot vibrate. There's a, a function called vibrate. And inside, we're going to pass a number of milliseconds. So if you do control P, you can see like the different parameters that it accepts. So for the uh, milliseconds, I'm just going to say 500. That way, it's going to vibrate for half a second. So if you were to run the app, you should see that it works. Since you won't be able to notice the vibrations if I ran it on my phone, I'm go not going to run it. But at the end of this video, I have a bit of code to test whether your uh, device can make the vibrations in case this uh, over here did not work for you. But now let's move on. And I'm going to show you how to make the vibrations go on indefinitely until you specify that you want them to stop. So we're going to do that by giving the vibrate method over here two uh, parameters. And the first one is going to be a long array containing the vibration pattern that we want to provide. And then the position in that array where we would like it to re start repeating. So we'll go ahead uh, above the vib.vibrate and we're going to say long pattern equals, and we're going to say 0, 100, and then 500. And I'll explain in a second what this means. And then inside our um, v dot, vib dot vibrate function, we're going to uh, pass in our array pattern. And then we're going to say 0. And I'll explain what these four numbers here mean. So what does 0 over here in our array means is that uh, that represents our initial delay when we call the vibrate method over here. That is followed by the duration of the vibration, and which is also then followed by the another delay, which is for half a second. So essentially, the positions in our pattern are for the delay and then our vibration. And it alternates between the two. The delay, vibration, delay, vibration, and so on. Now, what the zero specifies over here in our vibrate function is the index at which uh, we'd like to repeat our vibration. And it's referring to the index in our um, array, which is patterns. And the reason that we had over here two delays of zero and 500 uh, before and after the vibration that's because if we just had the 500 over here, so 500 and then 100 and nothing else, what's going to happen is when the user presses the button, they would have to wait half a second before getting that vibration. However, by having the 0 and then the 100 followed by a 500, there isn't going to be an initial delay. The vibration will start and then the delay will come afterwards before the second vibration can start. So now that I just showed you how to make the vibrations run indefinitely, maybe wondering how do I make it stop? So that's why I have this button that said on click listener over here. And you can do it anywhere, um, but I'm just going to do it when the button is pressed. And you simply have to state vib.cancel. And it's as easy as that. So now our um, vibration will keep on running and repeating in our onCreate method when the app is launched. And then when this button is pressed in our app, it, the vibration is going to stop. So the last thing I'm going to cover is how to make the vibration pattern occur once. And what we have to do in order to, to make it uh, vibrate only once is uh, say negative one. The negative one is out of bounds in our pattern array over here, and therefore it won't have an index from which to repeat this pattern. But now if you were to run this, you'd see that the pattern repeats itself only once because of the negative one that we're providing. Now regarding what I had said earlier about checking whether your device can vibrate or not, uh, since if it's not working, one way that you can test it is by saying um, if v.hasVibrator, okay, uh, v, vib.hasVibrator, 
that we're going to say uh, you can do like something like log.v that way you can see it in Android Studio or you can see it on your device's screen by creating a toast and I have a function called make toast so I'm just going to say make toast can vibrate now I'm going to come here underneath if vib has vibrator and I'm going to say else if it does not have the vibrator then I'm going to say make toast device can't vibrate and if you run this on your device you should be able to see this toast saying whether your device can vibrate or not and that would be able to help you uh, determine why your vibrations are not occurring even if you do vib.vibrate over here that's all for this video thank you for watching it don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the ij apps channel and share this video with friends section until then happy developing from ij apps